Hello and welcome to Cheap Weekly Thrills. I'm your host, Matt, and this is the 67th week of Cheap Weekly Thrills. For those who don't know, Cheap Weekly Thrills is where I find small indie games that have been released on Steam in the past week for $5 or less and review them. This week is a game called Masteroid by developer and publisher Nerfox LLC. Masteroid is a top-down space adventure game where you collect materials, complete missions, and fight enemy spaceships. Masteroid is a small-scale space adventure game with procedurally generated maps, multiple space factions, and many weapons and ships to choose from. Explore the vast emptiness of space as you mine for resources. Once you have enough resources, you can choose to join certain factions and complete missions to further gain their trust and increase rewards for future missions. Spend your hard-earned currency on new ships and weapons as enemy factions also increase their arsenal. Prepare for a long journey as it's a long way from the top. With fun and smooth, pixelated graphics, Masteroid has a simple yet incredibly functional art style with beautiful, colorful nebulas contrasting the dark silhouettes of the ships and space stations. With a large variety of space synthesizer-based music, Masteroid keeps the environment interesting for those long voyages through the dangerous outskirts of space. The menus in the game are visually appealing and tie the whole experience together as it makes navigating the game incredibly easy. While the gameplay is fun and relaxing, all is not completely well in the realms of space. I found that there's a good portion of the time when you're attempting to mine a rock, and when you select it, sometimes if there's a nearby ship passing by, somehow the game thinks that you want to attack the ship, and then suddenly you're hurting your reputation with the faction of your choice because there's also not much of a convenient seize fire button, so it makes things a little bit interesting. With the vast emptiness of space, it sometimes can take a long time to travel places, so either incorporating a fast travel feature within a map or an additional feature of some variety, like a boost button, would make the pacing of the game a lot faster and maybe not as repetitive as it currently is. And finally, the lack of direction or goals in Masteroid feels like the game loses a bit of focus. By having an achievement system, or boss battle or two, or something of that kind of nature, would really help spice up the game and make players want to come back for more as they find ways to hit the next goal and the next achievement, or reach that next boss battle to finally beat them to get to the next area. All in all, I would recommend Masteroid. In its current state, Masteroid may not be completely, well, complete, but it is a great start to a game that has a lot of potential. I enjoyed playing the fun gameplay. Being able to hunt down enemy ships and attempt to dodge their attacks to stay alive was really exciting. I'm genuinely interested to see what Narfox may have up their sleeves if they plan on updating the game with additional features to keep the experience very unique and refreshing. And what else is refreshing about Masteroid is its price. Currently, Masteroid is 20% off for $3.99 until November 21st, where it will then return to its original price of $5. Thank you for watching this review of Masteroid. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave a message down in the comments section below. Make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel for more content. I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you later in the 68th week of Cheap Weekly Thrills. Bye bye